Hello everybody, glad to be back. So to kick start the new year, we're going to be doing this lovely little Celtic weave. Now I'll show you inside this book. We've got some beautiful designs. They're very complicated and they take a long time. So I thought I will just do something fairly simple just to ease us back in. And um, as you can see, it's a lot to do with lines, but we have some totes here. Not much equipment is needed in this one. Basically, we'll need just a pencil and paper, and I'm going to take you through step by step. Okay, so I have taped down my page. That's just so I can set up the camera at the best angle that you're going to see. Now I'm drawing it this direction but I don't think it'll matter because the weave can be really seen from either angle so uh, the direction won't matter. Now I'm going to start off by um, drawing out some very small little dots and I was just thinking about the best technique to demonstrate this and I might do some different colours but I'll, I'll, I'll wait and see. So what I've done is I've got four dots here and they're in spaces of two. And there is four dots here and four dots here. And as you can see, it makes up a box of nine in total. And once I get this one up, I'm going to do a further dot in the middle and it will be a lot darker. And you want to put it in the center. There's, they're a lot bigger because they're going to be the main guide points for the design. Now that's second stage done. From these dots we're going to do some diagonal lines. So I think it would be best to probably start from this one here. So it's the darker dot and you're going towards the middle but you're not touching this middle one here. And some of them have like a slight curve. So this will be my next one and I'm going to curve it slightly to this side. The curve plays a part later on in the design. and this direction and the fourth one over here. Now that's the third stage. The next stage I'm going to do is the corners and I'm going to start on these and um, these larger dots here that aren't touched and I'm going to bring it to the outside. Diagonal Round the corner, two squares, and stop. Then I'm going to stop there because there's going to be extra things going on here. So go to the next spot, go at that diagonal, go round the corner, and stop. This is the next one, diagonal, around the corner, and stop. And the last corner is here, add a diagonal, round the corner, and stop. The next stage we're going to do is a curved line from here to here. So because of your view, I'll, I'll start over at this one. So large spot, but we need to go over to this area now, you could do a straight line and a cross, but with a curved, it will give the appearance of a circle inside the square. So, add very lightly with your pencil and just keep it very, very loose. Do it a couple of times very lightly and a nice curve will appear. Just be very easy with it, like that. Okay. Now you are able to turn your page and I would recommend that you turn your page to go with the direction your hand feels most comfortably at. 
but as I want you to um, get the best view I'm going to keep my page stuck down. Now there will be a gap here and don't worry about that we'll fill that in later. I, I'm just more happy if you get a nice curve and don't worry if you go over it's just a pencil so we have a rubber we can always fix it up and there is the last little curve in so that's kind of softened up at the edges now okay so the next stage will be to do the center and it's a bit of a wave so when I mean a wave we've got something going this direction something going this direction something going this direction and something going this direction so we're going to create a wave pattern here so this is what I'm going to do I'm going to put a line here and it'll be like that and like this there and there now granted this can seem something that may get complicated but if you mess it up don't worry because the next stage will be to make the weave even more tight and that means blocking them in so it does kind of look like squares that's initially the design done so after it we're just gonna tidy it up and I'm rounding down those little corners and I'm going to thicken up some of the lines now to make it more three-dimensional so let's begin with let's say we'll start on the inside maybe and I will take this corner and I'm going to just lightly shade here and here and that's going to give the impression that it's like curved like that I want to give the impression that it's um, more curved and that's going in this direction so it'll go under here and come out here and it comes round light 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 but then it's going to get darker because it's going under here so I'm going to make this darker so over under over under it's coming up now from underneath this one so and then it's going to go over that but it has to go back under so dark again over there it's under this one comes up now so dark closer to the line and fade it out lightly so whenever I do a fade I've got dark here and I just lightly go like that and if you want you can smudge it a little bit and then you get a better blend these are a uh, HB so they're soft enough to get a nice enough blend if you want that it's going round it comes darker again for this area now the next um, bit I'm going to do is over here I'm um, going to get like maybe do it this way and see I do a little colour might be a little bit better to see if it's in the colour yeah we'll give that a go see what that's like under round and it goes back under it goes under there it'll come up over here it goes this direction so there under over under over 
Move this around. Back under again. And here, over again. Now I have this wee one. Over here. And here. Here. A little wave. The sheet I'll be giving out will have all the different steps so you'll be able to follow along at your own pace and have a guide of where you should be at. And then I have this simple little line drawing and that's just to practice your shading for the weaving in and out as this is really quite tight and um, it might be harder to to work out when you're weaving. So if I was to do an example here, I could shade here under. I do this really dark. You can see run right here. Goes around there all light until it gets to here. And then it's dark. It's like a little barricade stops. And I can do a strong line all the way around like that and I can go shading under there like that as well I'm doing a strong line this direction all the way around here like this and that goes across because it's an over This is a uh, under, goes across and put in the lines even darker just to keep you on track. And that's under, so I'll shade it this direction and this direction. Darken up the line. That will be going over because it was under. Now it goes over. And here's a, another quick tip. You could just follow the track while you're still in the mindset of over and under. And then just go, well, that's under. So over, under, over, under, over, under. You can sort of see now a lot clearer there's something very relaxing about doing this it's repetitive but you have to have just a little bit of concentration in order to get the, the pattern right and in that concentration you have a chance to switch off and just be in the moment of drawing this and that's really nice and there you have your weaving with just the light shading now if you happen to have any colors or pens or anything you can add some decorative colors and that can really help exaggerate it so um some of them have outlines on it that just enhance the wave so the shading is already done but by giving it um, like this colour outline there's just more emphasis on the wave I picked a lovely 
emerald green which is very bright and looks great against white paper very bold and appropriate And you could add more colours onto it again. You could do another layer and this time maybe not cut across and just do it as like an outskirt layer for the piece. like so. So you can have lots of fun but I'll leave it at that and let you have a go.